Okay, continuing from where we f uh, left off last time, we are going to check if a number is actually divisible by 4. So let me quickly write a random big number, I don't know, uh, 3, 5, 6, 2, 1, 4, 7, 9, uh, I don't know, 1, 6 or something like that. That's a big number. That, that, that. So I think it's 3,562,147,960. And we are going to check if that can be divided by 4. Okay, now what we are going to do is really simple. In When we are checking if it's divisible by 3, we had to add all these numbers. So it was a bit boring and long if the number was uh, past its billions or even millions because we had to add 7 digits. Now, when we are checking if it's uh, if it's divisible by 4, it is really easy. All we have to look is over here, the last two digits. Ta -da. And we check if that is divisible by 4. And obviously 16 divided by 4 is 4. Therefore, this number is divisible by 4. Now because I already knew that, all I need Oh, I just wrote random numbers over here and made sure I added a number that is divisible by 4 at the end. Okay, and we could check using a calculator. And that's from a previous video, I think. Uh, hopefully this num uh, this calculator holds big numbers. 3, 5, 6, 2, 1. Oops. I don't know how to remove one. 3, 5, 6, 2, 1, 4, 7, 9, 1, 9, 1. 6 divided by 4 equals, and there we go. Now, if I just use a calculator and write random numbers, like so, uh, the last number is 57, and divided by 4, that will give me a decimal point, so it's not divisible. However, if I just do random numbers, and at the end write, I don't know, 12 or something, and divided by 4, that's going to give me a whole number. So as long as the last two digits over here is divisible by 4. The whole number is divisible by 4. Okay, uh, I have no idea why in my first video I didn't uh, take this out like the 0, 1 and, or 0, 1 and 2, but I am just going to quickly talk about it anyway. So we have a random number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, and we want to check if it's divisible by 5. All you have to do is just get my cyan out check this and if that was a number either 0 or 5 then this whole number is divisible by 5. I hope this was really obvious to you so I am not going to even bother with using a calculator or use another number as an example. Okay because I still have uh it's only a three minute video, I'm just going to quickly talk about when x equals 6. And this is really obvious and really easy, just like when x equals 5. Suppose I have a random number, 3, 5, 6, 1, 2, 4, oops, that is weird, oh well, 5, 6, or something like that. And we want to check if that's divisible by 6. What we're going to do is use that, and let's check the first digit number. And if it's an odd, if that is an odd, then it's not divisible. Not divisible. And if it's an even, then we are going to add all that number together. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. And that equals 8, 14, 50, 60, 17, 21, uh, 26, 32. And then we are actually going to divide that number, this number, by 3. Which in this case equals 10.6 recurring, so uh, this is wrong. But hopefully you uh, uh, realise that all you need to do is 1. Check if this number is an even number. If it's an odd number, it's never going to be divisible by 6. And uh, if it's an even number, we just do the same thing for checking when it's uh, when x equals 3, so when it's divisible by 3. And that's it.